Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Benman Gaming and welcome to another video and today I am showing you the best software for recording gameplay now. I have searched so many softwares for this because I used to have an, a pretty, well, de I would say a pretty decent computer but it nowhere near was the best and I always had to use Fraps. So as you can see I've got three softwares here, I've got Fraps, DX Turret and GeForce Experience which is Shadow Play. Um, so I've always used Fraps, Fraps was my wife back in the day and pretty over the last year or so, I, I've upgraded my PC and I've got a pretty beast of computer. A few, um, I'll show you my specs in a minute and all that because um, it tells us in the software. But yeah, so I was actually able to stop using Fraps and try using the Xtory. Now, the reason why Fraps is good, I'm going to go through them all and tell you why they are good. But I'm going to open them all. And yeah, so the reason why Fraps is good, so you open Fraps, yeah, press yes. Um, Fraps. There we go. Um, so the reason why Fraps is good is I don't know. It records good. It records nicely, I guess. And uh, you get to pick how many FPSs you want to record, and you get to add your microphone. But it all records the sound of your microphone and the game audio and in-game audio. I mean, like in-game in chat, whatever you call it, all in one one level. If you know what I mean, like it's just all in one audio level. So that's kind of the down point or otherwise it'd be really good except sometimes the file sizes can be so big it's unbelievable um sometimes i've, I've been recording like a, a, a 10 minute video and the file size is like 8 gig or something which isn't that bad compared to dx story now that's it for fraps let's close you down but for dx story i um i started using this the quality is great i i finally got some really good settings that i really enjoyed and yeah, so I just really, I really do like it. So you, this is basically the extra. You can add your thing where you're saving your videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it was really good. You know, it was doing really well for me. And for this, you can actually add two audio levels. So as you can see, I got my speakers on one level, and I got my microphone on the other level. So my microphone will be in a complete separate level compared to the game audio and your friends in Teamspeak or anything like that, Skype, whatever you want to use. Um, but the problem with this is, I, every time I made a video using the if it if it was 10 minutes long, the file size was around 38 gigabytes, and I'm not even kidding you. That is the complete truth. The the file size was so huge, it was actually just crazy. You know, it just I, I, I didn't understand that. I, I researched, I did everything, and I just couldn't do it. And you can also pick how many FPS you want here. 30 or 60 but because for some reason I can't really record a 60 FPS for this with this or fraps um, it just can't I mean I ain't got the best computer but it's not the worst I guess um, but yeah so that's the to it now shadow play which you may have heard of you may not have heard of you actually need uh, an, an Nvidia god an Nvidia graphics card to use this so let's open it up um, it's taking a little while because I'm recording for some reason which you should do okay let's uh, Alright, so this is it as you, as you um, when you open it up it'll just be like this in video GeForce where you update your drivers and you, you get your games, you get your rig, which is, this is my specs by the way, I've got GeForce GTX 750 Ti for the win edition, um, i7 4770K CPU at 3.5, 8 gigs of RAM and yeah, so that's kind of just the main things you need. And down here you got overview, game op optimization, game steam, shadow play, LED visualizer, and you got shadow play blur. So let's click on this. So this is it tells you what you need to actually run this. For some reason that's not checked, checked even though I know that my CPU is better than that. But um, you know at least a GeForce GTX desktop GPU, 600 series or higher, which I have. If you don't have, then um, sadly you can't. Uh, if you have a notebook and it's got any of them, then you can. You got you have four gigs of RAM in your PC, which I have. I've got eight, and the that driver all later. So if you have all of them, then you can actually just click on Shadow Play up here, and this is it. It's in beta, mind you. So if you're watching this in the future and you they see it's different, then you know why. But this is definitely the best for me. Shadow Play, honestly, I cannot believe it. I, I put it off for so long for some reason. I I always thought 
I'm not gonna try it because it, it, not everyone uses it and it may be really bad and I just really didn't want to try it so I was awake for a full 24 hours uh, my mind was going crazy I was trying to record gameplay at the same time streaming and I just couldn't oops sorry it's not the mic I just couldn't my FPS was so low that even on the most easiest games to run I still couldn't do it because my FPS oh yeah I should also say I'm calling this with OBS by the way um, look hi um, so yeah you can also use OBS for recording the screen as well but you know that's more for I would say OBS is more for streaming I don't know um, but yeah anyway I was like I was room I just couldn't stream and record at the same time because what I would do is I would stream with OBS try and record with props uh, or DX to it and my FPS would just drop so low that I couldn't do anything especially in Daisy now I know Daisy isn't a really easy game to run um, but you need every every FPS you can get and if you're playing in 1080p streaming in 1080p or 720p and recording in 1080p then it's just so difficult and it's so hard to do um, so yeah that's just why I use or well, think shadow play is well no well anyway yeah we'll jump into the software so this this blue, red um, green light indicates it's on you can turn it off like that it will always be on as soon as you turn it on it will always be on and you don't have to have the software open to um to record as if you I don't know what to open. Um, Alright, we'll just drag uh, we'll drag this over it. As you can see, I, you probably won't be able to see it that well, but um, in the corner there is an FPS counter that never goes away. Even when the software is closed, that FPS counter is always there. You can also turn off the sense, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but as you can see, it's recorded in 1080p HD resolution at 60 FPS, and and it's using there mp4 percent so over here is your on and off switch i just said this i think this is just your folder with um with your files in it so when you when you got a um, saved file that's where it all goes and wait let's find um i recorded like i think this is like, the, the longest clip i i used and that is like 0 0.97 so it's like 900 megabytes um and where's daisy one i will also see some footage of this as well don't worry um but yeah this is like five minutes long it's only one gig which is actually really good compared to the rest for me um so yeah that's where you um you click on to get to your folder of videos that you've recorded with it and this is your settings tab and it goes to like off that off um in video i mean where's it going yeah general play it goes off that and onto nvidia geforce gtf uh, fuck words <laughs> experience so as you can see you got overlays you got camera status and gear which i don't actually know which of these to do but i just have my fps counter and you can turn it off or on there i just keep it on all the time can i turn it on please there we go and as you can see in that little corner down there that means oh i think that's um yeah that's that that's this is um the status indicator so when you're in a game and you don't remember you don't have to have this open if you hit record which, I, which you can set hotkeys for in a minute if you just hit record, um, a little indicator will pop up right in the bottom corner. It took me a while to actually notice that at first, and it will tell you if you it will tell you if you're recording or not. And it's just super super easy to do, or super super easy to use. Um, you can have a microphone. I remember you actually didn't use to have a microphone in this, but they added it. So you can have a microphone always on or push to talk, and you can set a push to talk key down here by a mine always on. You can save the last one minute's record, which I'll tell you in a minute what's up, what that is about. So that's a hotkey for that. Um, took on my new recording on and off and save so I changed mine to control and like the, I don't even know what that thing is and toggle broadcast so you can actually live stream with this which is pretty cool uh, pause and resume broadcast so you can pause your um, I think it's recording and stream I don't know toggle camera off while recording I actually don't know what that means um, and activate push to talk and toggle FPS count on and off and this is where you click to save your video so I've got mine just in my videos and every time you go in a different game it will create a brand new folder so as you've seen in it before it had, I had a file for CSGO and D DayZ which is the only two games I recorded um, so yeah that's uh, that's the settings so let's just minimise that so well you got mode, shadow time, quality and audio so if you click on mode you have shadow and manual shadow and manual <laughs> and twitch so shadow and well we'll speak about these two first these are the main ones because that's just the main them two combined into one so shadow is i don't really understand it but i think if you were 
I don't actually know how to activate it again, but when I clicked on this at the um, actually you know, I think if I click on shadow, yeah. You can actually click on this and you can drag the slider all the way over like 20 minutes. So if you're not recording, I think it records the last 20 minutes or something if you click the button. Uh, but as you can see that's seven gigs and personally I don't really use this because I don't get into I don't really record like um What's it called? I don't really recall montage or anything, so I think that kind of just is for montage maker. So say if you hit a great clip on Call of Duty or something on PC or whatever you use, and you missed it, you didn't record, so you can just activate that and it will record the last five minutes or whatever you got to sit on. Uh, but I don't need, I don't use that, so it's just my personal preference, and I just choose manual because that's just when you hit record and then stop recording, and that's how you record. Uh, but that is a little bit different. So that's them two, that's more than a share of time. You've got a quality, you've got low, medium, or high, and custom. So if you click on custom, you've got here 1080 oops, oops, you got, come on, 1080p, and you got like 360p, 480p, 720p, 1080p, and 440p, and in game, which I don't know what that means. <laughs> but obviously, I've got a 1080p monitor, so I'm just going to record it at 1080p. You could probably, I could probably even record it a lot, but I just don't need to. Um, I just think it's um, just no reason for it. 1080 p is good enough for me. You can change your bitrate here. You just slide that, I guess. Yep. Um, but obviously, when you're high, it's bitrate up. Oh, oops. God damn it. Breaking things over. Alright, let's just get this super small. Let's grab this. That's what she said. <laughs> and you can change your frame rate here from 30 to 60. Now, what I love most about this GeForce, G, um, GeForce experience. Um, um, Shadow Play God, I really can't say this. Um, is that when I'm recording a game, like if I was getting 100 FPS on one game, and I I hit record with DX2 or Fraps, my FPS would drop about 30 30 frames or so. Um, but with Shadow Play, I just don't drop any frames at all. But bear in mind, this is completely free, by the way, if you, as long as you have the right specs for it. But this does not drop a single frame and I honestly I don't understand it. I really can't get my head around why I don't drop any frames and even at 60 FPS. I tried 30 FPS first, I thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to record 60 FPS, so just I can never do it. Um so far I'll just try try 30 FPS and I record a gameplay and it looks super super like not lucky but just frame it and I was like I wasn't dropping any frames in game what the hell so I turned it to 60 FPS and it was completely fine I'll even put some clips on the screen right now to show you how amazing the quality is because the quality you is just so great you actually lose zero quality and you lose zero frames when recording with this and I just I think it's mind blowing. So that's gonna wrap my video up for this video shadow play best software to use i don't really know if i'm great at these i'm done one of these ever so yeah i hope you really did understand what i'm saying and understand that this is the best recording software out there because honestly i am mind blown by this amazing software but yeah thanks for watching and goodbye